I'm looking at a chart of the average uh, gold price uh, over the last uh, 10 years since the bubble of 2011. A lot of people were worried that they'll enter the gold market into a bubble like that. And so they've been putting off buying gold ever since it was $250. That was a bubble. When it was $500, it was a bubble. When it was $700, it was a bubble. Uh, I've heard that story uh, too many times already. And I want to show what would happen if you were to start buying gold in 2011. Imagine that you jumped on the bandwagon in 2011. Just how long it would take you to recover uh, your investment. Uh, so I've set up a chart here where uh, the investor is putting $10,000 into gold every year since 2011. So here we have column B is the average uh, price for the year. Column C is how much we re uh, we, we uh, acquire um, every year. Uh, column D is the cumulative ounces of gold. Um, column E is uh, our, our, our uh, basis, right? how much we've invested into gold. And column F is the value of all of the cumulative gold, right? So it's column D times column B, right? All the, the gold that we currently have times the current price, right? Between 2011 and 2019, gold fell from 1571 down to 1392, and we gained 3264 uh, in terms of the dollars at least, right? Um, and the reason for that is because we were able to acquire a lot more gold in 2015 and 2016 uh, than we were uh, in 2011, right? So uh, our, our weighted average is a lot higher, uh, uh, is a lot closer to the price of 2015-2016, right? Notice that we were more or less able to find the bottom of the market with all the stresses involved in trying to do that, right? I mean, this is for the yearly uh, price for long ranges like that yes there are things you can do like astrology and things like that but even then dollar cost averaging uh, can more or less of uh, get you most of the results of finding the bottom with all the stresses that come with it right um and then there are people who try to find the bottom in a much shorter time frame, right? The daily bottom or the weekly bottom, right? Or they get very nervous that when they put money into their uh, their Roth IRA that it takes... You know, I was talking to my mom about opening a Roth IRA and she got really nervous about how uh, when you try to put transfer money from your bank account to your Roth IRA, how it could take two or three days and you might miss the bottom of the market. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I, I'm not very good at finding the uh, bottom of the market in the first place. Right? A lot of times when there's a delay, sometimes the price falls even more, right? And then on top of that, I'm more concerned with the long-term aspect, right? Last time I checked, um, you can't even withdraw from your uh, Roth IRA until you're 65, right? Um, so I'm more worried about these kind of swings, right? And a special uh, case of this uh, in reverse is when people buy on uh, margin right there's a gold there's a gold etf that is uh, leveraged two to one i think even three to one where um, you put ten thousand into the etf and your etf moves by as if you had thirty thousand dollars worth of gold in there right the big problem with that is that imagine you bought into an etf like that and the next day gold price let's say it goes up right you're lucky it goes up the problem is that the etf will uh now you have thirty two thousand dollars worth of gold in, uh on a ten thousand uh no i'm trying to think how this works uh yeah your your, your gold is now worth thirty two thousand uh so 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 your uh, etf will want to borrow more to compensate for that and to buy more the end result of an etf like that is that you end up buying more shares when it's high and less when it's low right because of how it keeps trying to match the amount of margin involved in that right uh, it's the exact opposite of trying to uh, dollar cost average right um, so in terms of the short-term trends don't try to look for the bottom let the bottom look for you by dollar cost averaging for the longer term trends yes there are things you could do in terms of astrology in terms of uh, uh, other kinds of technical analysis, but even then, realize that uh, 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 your, 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 the, the gains from doing that are very marginal compared to dollar cost averaging. Uh, the, the the bigger problem is trying to is uh, like I said, the the story of uh, some of my peers who have been saying that gold has been in a bubble ever since it was two hundred fifty dollars an ounce, right?